guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video as you guys can see by the title we are doing a full tank clean for koa my box turtle don't know if you guys can see him can you see him can you see him can you see him hi so while I do spot clean Koa's tank very regularly, I clean out his food and water about every day to every other day depending on his feeding schedule. His enclosure still gets really, really messy. Even with spot cleans, it's really good to do a full clean out and clean out all the eco earth and everything at least once a month or once every other month. I do like to keep his enclosure pretty tidy. And obviously because I spot clean so much, he does need more substrate over time. It does go down, so you do have to kind of replenish it. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Just like a massive clean of Koa's enclosure. For those of you who do not know who Koa is, Koa is my 37 year old box turtle. He's about 37. He was taken from the wild in 1985 by a very irresponsible individual who then neglected him for 30 years. He was abandoned at a pet store and then I came to the pet store. I saw him and they basically allowed me to rescue him for free and they turned him over to me and now I've had him for a little over a year now. Koa is doing really well and he is thriving in his 75 gallon tank. He loves it. This is a 75 gallon reptile enclosure that I have him in with dual sliding doors. I love this tank. I had a whole video where I went and bought this tank. If you haven't seen that, it is in my turtle playlist, which I will link on the screen. If you guys enjoy this clean of Koa's enclosure, feel free to subscribe down below and also hit the notification bell. So if you guys watch my recent vlog, then you guys saw that I went and bought Koa a new bag of Eco Earth. This bag is absolutely massive. It's literally wider than I am. So once we clean out his enclosure, we'll be putting this whole bag in there and then I have a little bit of another bag if I need some more. All right, so the first thing we have to do is we have to put Koa in this little enclosure, which he is not gonna be happy with, but it is for his safety. I know you're gonna be mad. You wanna say hi to everybody? Say hello. Say I missed you. Say we're doing so good, just eating our worms and sleeping like a good boy. He's like, can you please hurry and clean my enclosure so I can go back? Koa is not a fan of being held for literally 30 years. He was in a 10 gallon, so he's definitely not used to being held and he's still really, really shy around me, but he's still a good boy and he does pretty good. All right, so we're just gonna take all of his decor out of here and we're gonna give it all a good rinse. Clean it off really good so we can get all the substrate out of here. Now you may notice I do keep Koa's enclosure pretty minimal. I keep a hide, a few stones, as well as his big fake plant, his water dish, his basking rock, and his food bowl. And the reason for that is, is he doesn't get around super well, so I try to minimize the risk of him flipping over and not being able to get back over as much as possible. If I had a bunch of branches and stuff in here taking up a lot of his floor space, I feel like that would take a lot of his roaming room around, and he does like to kind of walk around his enclosure every day. And I just like to minimize the risk of him climbing on top of something and then flipping over and not being able to get back over. That really does worry me. I did find him in here once, flipped on his back, where he had actually tried to climb up on top of his uh, log hide and then he flipped over and I was worried that he couldn't get back over and it just really bothered me so so in case you were wondering why I choose the decor that I do that's why all right so here's his food dish from yesterday you can see he's ate pretty much all of it he did a really good job yesterday and we have one of his little rocks we may not get 100% of it but that's okay it's not a big deal I am gonna get out as much as I possibly can though that's really important can get out his water. I'm literally getting this everywhere. Okay, I finally got most of it empty. There's a little bit of dust on the bottom, but I'm really not worried about it. I've made such a mess, you guys should see the floor. Maybe you shouldn't because it's an absolute disaster. It's fine, we'll get it up. Okay, so now that I have the majority of it cleaned out, like literally 99% of it, as you can see, it is completely empty. Now we can go in and we can fill it back up with Eco Earth. So now I'm just gonna take a paper towel and kind of just wipe down the walls on the inside really good. Obviously it's not 100%, but for the most part, it is completely cleaned. Spray it down really good. And we're just gonna give his walls a really good wipe down. They're not really that dirty. Koa is actually a pretty cleanly pet. He doesn't really make that big of a mess. I mean, he does trek through his water and get that everywhere. And then, you know, he'll drag substrate everywhere. But other than that, he's not really messy. He's a very, very good turtle. Just 
wiped down the doors too while we're at it. go on and we are going to fill this back up with eco worth i hope you guys can see really well all right all right good job i think we're probably going to dump this entire bag in here I think one bag might be enough. It's a big, big, big bag. Oh yeah, this is really good. I'm gonna go on and clean and rinse out his water dish because it's easier to pack in the Eco Worth around the water dish, you know, instead of putting it in there after. So I'm gonna go clean it and get him some fresh water. I'll be right back. All right, I got his water dish in there. We're gonna put his basking stone in here. good we're gonna add in this last little bit of a second bag and I think that will be perfect and kind of top it off He loves to climb on. We need to give him some water. Give him some water, which will be dirty in exactly three minutes. <laughs> okay. Now his tank is completely done and completely cleaned, as you guys can see. Stand back here. Maybe you guys can see it looks really good. Oh, these reflection. Now it's all clean, it's all done, and we are gonna go get him some food and we will let him eat. All right, bud, your enclosure's clean. I got you some nice food. Look how yummy. Now you can eat. Everything's clean and all ready for you to get dirty again. I got you some blueberries today. You love berries. I've been giving him blackberries, but then he stopped eating them, so I switched up to blueberries, and he's been enjoying them, so we'll give him blueberries for a little while until he's sick of them. He's got some romaine lettuce, he's got bell peppers, he's got strawberry, blueberries, worms, and then he has some Reptivite calcium powder. Delicious. Eat them. Get that worm. Hit it. <laughs> so violent. A violent little dinosaur. Yuck. that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed watching me clean koa's tank i know that he is going to love having a clean fresh tank with all new eco earth i'm really glad that i was able to film this for you guys today whenever i did the vlog and i went and bought all the eco earth and told you guys i was going to be cleaning his tank you guys begged me to film it so i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys in my next video be kind bye